Hello and welcome to lesson two. This is the first GCSE lessons. This one focuses on problems at home and abroad that Elizabeth had. You will need your notes pack again. It looks like this. You'll need to be on page six of your notes pack to start with today's lesson. Um, but to, before we do that, we're going to do a smart task which focuses on the work that we did in last lesson. So here is your smart task coming up. You'll see on page six that what you're going to do is you're going to describe two features of Elizabethan government which focuses on the work you were doing in the last lesson. So you need to identify a feature, explain it, identify another feature and explain it. Try and do it without having a sneaky peek at your notes from the previous lesson. You need to pause me now and have a go at that smart task. Right, here we go then. Let's see what you did. Really, you can check your own uh, answers by looking back at the work that you did in the last lesson, looking back at the notes and the textbook pages that you've got in the booklet, um, in the previous pages of your booklet. But effectively, you should have been focusing on something like the role of the monarch, how important the monarch was in government, uh, how much power the monarch had. You could have talked about the divine right. You could have talked about the way that Elizabeth used patronage to control people and get what she wanted. You could have talked about the role of parliament, the limited role of parliament that existed. You could have talked about the role of privy council or advisors to Elizabeth. You could have talked about the hierarchical nature of the political system system where everybody worked towards Elizabeth as Queen. So you can check your answers uh, based on what you had in last lesson and now we're going to move on to today's lesson which focuses on the problems that Elizabeth had both at home and abroad. Okay so Elizabeth had problems that were built into her reign as Queen based on the um, upbringing that she had, the background that she had, and the circumstances uh, in which she came to be queen. So you're going to explore this first of all by looking at this video clip. Um, it, you only need to watch the first seven minutes, six or seven minutes of this, uh, for the purposes of this lesson. If you want to watch the whole thing, then by all means do so. But for the purposes of this particular lesson, then you just need to watch the first six or seven minutes. So you're looking for the, the problems that she encountered, the difficulty that she had um, even before she became queen and how that laid a, a platform of difficulty for her when she did become queen. You need to pause me now, watch the video clip, the link to it is in your um, pack and then come back when you've finished watching the clip. Okay, so we saw in, in last lesson actually that the problems that Elizabeth had because of the fact that she was um, accused of potentially plotting against her sister when Mary I was queen and the problems that she had as a result of that. We saw in this, it, this clip just now the problems that she had uh, in terms of her legitimacy as being seen as a legitimate queen because Henry VIII had an affair um, with Anne Boleyn and because uh, he divorced his first wife in order to marry Anne Boleyn um, and then Anne Boleyn was subsequently um, executed. All of that turmoil and all of those problems caused people to question how legitimate Elizabeth was. So from the very beginning of her reign, lots of people, you know, Starkey uses the phrase in the documentary there that they saw her as the bastard queen, saw her as somebody who wasn't a legitimate heir to the throne. So from the very beginning she has this problem of legitimacy which uh, has a, a massive impact on the early part of her reign in particular. Alright, so now we're going to have a look at these problems that Elizabeth has on her ascension to the throne um, in a little bit more detail. You're looking specifically at the problem she has as a result of her family background and the result of her gender. So you're going to read the section in your notes 
uh, booklet that looks at legitimacy and gender and marriage. Looks specifically for how her, her, uh, her uh, father's relationship with Anne Boleyn cast doubt on whether or not she sh has the legitimate uh, she is legitimate heir to the throne, and also look at how her gender has an impact on her early, well, not just her early, but her entire reign, but in this case, her early reign, what people's perception of her is as a result of her gender, and how the fact that she is not married causes a problem. So you're going to pause me, you're going to read that information, you're going to answer the question, how does her family background and how does her gender cause problems for her in the early part of her reign and in fact it's a problem that continues throughout the rest of her reign as well so pause me now and then have read that information and answer the question sorry about that little noise that was just to check you were still awake and that you'd finished that task okay um, so what you should have seen and what you should have written down when you've read it is how this issue of her legitimacy whether or not she has a rightful claim to the throne and also um, the issue of her gender and the fact that she's not married and therefore can't produce an heir to the throne these are huge problems for her if elizabeth doesn't have an heir so she doesn't have somebody to take over the throne after she dies that means that she's far more vulnerable to people trying to plot against her or remove her from the throne because if she has no heir and you want to to remove her from the throne you know that you take her out and then there's nobody coming after her and you could install somebody else who has some sort of claim to the throne that you believe is valid so that they could become king or queen so this is a real problem that she has from the very beginning luckily for elizabeth she has um some incredible resilience and she has an incredible character incredible intelligence and some really important personal strengths that enable her to overcome this so just read the little bit that says character and strengths and answer the question underneath about which particular character which particular uh, aspect of her character are the strengths that help her to overcome these problems in the beginning Okay, so now we're going to come to the last section of reading that looks like this uh, in your pack. And you're going to consider the problems that Elizabeth had in a more comprehensive sense. So you're going to have a look at more problems than we've looked at so far. To do that, um, and to help you record that information, you're going to use a little table that outlines... Um, the type of problems that she had so it looks like this uh, you're going to do a little explanation of that problem and you're going to consider how big a problem or a threat that problem was um, you can already put in problems to do with legitimacy you can put in problems to do with gender and problems to do with lack of uh, marriage so you can put those three in first of all based on what you've already read you also need to fill it in for the problems that she had um, financially so some of the economic problems she had and the problems that she had in terms of foreign affairs particularly relationship with other big powers like france and you'll get that information from your reading once you've explained a little bit about what the problem is you can start to think about how big a problem or how big a threat to elizabeth you think that was so you need to pause this read the extra information that you haven't read already use the information that you have read already as well and fill in this table type of problem so marriage gender legitimacy you could probably put religion in there as well um, and also foreign affairs and economic financial problems as well so pause me now and have a go at that right now we come to the last bit of this lesson we want to consider which of the problems you think 
was the most significant for Elizabeth? So what is it out of those problems that you've just done in the table when you've just explained what the problem was? Obviously, these problems are interconnected. So you might say that it's not just one particular problem that Elizabeth had. It's the interconnected nature of these problems that was the major difficulty facing her in the early part of her reign. So there's a little sentence starter there. I think that the main problem, or you could change that to main problems, Elizabeth uh, faced was or were, and then write down what you think. And when you've done that, you have come to the end of this lesson two of GCSE lessons on Elizabeth I. Well done for your hard work and get ready for lesson three.